Have you ever questioned what the end of the world might look like? It's a topic that both fascinates and chills us to the bone. A subject that has been mulled over, debated, and feared since time immemorial. Will it come with a bang or a whimper? Will it be a fiery apocalypse or a slow descent into oblivion? We've all pondered these questions at some point. In this video, we'll delve into the signs and prophecies that are said to foretell the end times. The ancients were no strangers to prophecies about the end of the world. They were, in fact, the original doomsday forecasters. From the Mayans to the Egyptians to the Norse Vikings, each civilization had its own version of the apocalypse, wrapped in layers of mystique and mythology. Let's start with the Mayans, a civilization that thrived in Central America for centuries. Among their many contributions to mankind, the Mayans were known for their intricate calendars. One of these, the Long Count Calendar, ended on December 21, 2012, leading many to speculate that they had predicted the end of the world. But the Mayans saw it differently. For them, it was not the end, but a transition, a rebirth of sorts. Next, we travel to the land of the pharaohs, Egypt. The Egyptians believed in a cyclical view of time, a perpetual cycle of death and rebirth. They prophesied that the world would end when the god Ra was swallowed by the sky goddess Nut. But fear not, for they also believed that Ra would be reborn each morning, marking a new beginning. Finally, we turn to the Norse Vikings, a seafaring people from Scandinavia. The Vikings envisioned a great final battle called Ragnarok. Giants, gods, and monsters would fight until the world was destroyed and submerged underwater. Yet like the Egyptians, the Vikings believed in renewal. After Ragnarok, a new world would emerge from the sea, ready for another cycle of life. These ancient prophecies, while diverse in their narratives, share a common thread. The end is not truly the end, but a transformation, a turning of the wheel. A concept perhaps not too dissimilar from our modern understanding of life, death, and rebirth. Each of these ancient cultures had their own unique vision of the end times. But what about more recent predictions? In more recent times, prophets and seers have made their own predictions about the end of the world. Let's start with Nostradamus, a name familiar to most. Born in the 16th century, this French astrologer and physician penned thousands of quatrains filled with obscure and symbolic language, many of which have been interpreted as prophecies of cataclysmic events. Some believe that Nostradamus foresaw world wars, natural disasters, and even the rise and fall of powerful leaders. His prophecies, shrouded in enigmatic verses, continue to be dissected and debated even today. Then we have Edgar Cayce, often referred to as the Sleeping Prophet. This 20th century American clairvoyant claimed to have the ability to tap into a universal consciousness during his trance-like states. Casey prophesied numerous events, including earthquakes, political upheavals, and scientific discoveries. He spoke of a future where dramatic geographical changes would occur, where coastlines would shift, and new land would emerge from the sea. And there are others. Countless individuals have emerged over the centuries, each with their own visions and predictions of the world's end. From religious leaders to self-proclaimed mystics, these modern prophets have warned of wars, plagues, and cosmic catastrophes. Some have even provided specific signs to watch for, signs that would signal the approaching end times. These signs range from the mundane to the extraordinary, from social unrest and moral decay to celestial events and supernatural phenomena. They are said to be the precursors of the final act, the harbingers of the world's end. Yet, as intriguing as these prophecies are, they also raise many questions. How should we interpret these signs? Are they literal or symbolic? Can they be prevented or are they inevitable? And most importantly, are these prophecies reliable? Can we trust these modern prophets or are they merely the product of overactive imaginations and fear of the unknown? These modern prophets have given us much to ponder, but what about the signs that are happening right now? In our current world, there are signs that some believe are harbingers of the end times. We're living in a world that's changing at an unprecedented pace. Climate change, for instance, is not a concept tucked away in the pages of a science journal anymore. 
It's a real and pressing issue that's impacting our lives in significant ways. Rising sea levels, melting ice caps, and extreme weather conditions like hurricanes and wildfires are becoming more frequent and intense, causing devastation on a scale we've never seen before. Then, there's the political upheaval. Democracy, a system of governance that was once hailed as the beacon of freedom and equality, is under threat in many parts of the world. Authoritarian regimes are on the rise, using sophisticated technology to suppress dissent and control their populations. This surge in autocracy, many believe, mirrors the prophecies of a world spiraling into chaos. And let's not forget about the pandemics. The world is still reeling from the impact of a virus that has claimed millions of lives and disrupted our way of living. Some see this as a clear sign of the prophesied plagues that would signal the end times. But are these events mere consequences of human action and inaction, or are they the unfolding of ancient prophecies? The melting ice caps, the rise of autocratic leaders, the global pandemic. Are these the signs that were foretold by the ancients and echoed by the modern prophets? Or are they just coincidences that we're reading too much into? In interpreting these signs, it's important to remember that prophecies are often shrouded in metaphor and symbolism. They're not meant to be taken literally, but rather, they're intended to provoke thought and reflection on the state of our world and our place in it. These signs are indeed troubling, but does it really mean the end is near? The end times have been a source of fascination and fear for millennia. In our journey today, we've delved into the cryptic world of ancient prophecies, whispered by sages and inscribed in the sacred texts of old. We've seen their chilling messages paint a vivid picture of a world on the brink of cataclysm. We've also met the modern prophets, those who, in our own era, claim to have been gifted with visions of the future. They've shared their predictions, eerie echoes of the ancient prophecies, yet intertwined with the complexities of our modern world. These tales of our potential future have been as unsettling as they are intriguing. And the present signs? They've been all around us, if we only know where to look. From the shifting climate and political unrest to the rise in natural disasters, these current events seem to mirror the dire warnings of the prophets, both old and new. Yet despite the foreboding nature of these signs and prophecies, there's an underlying message of resilience and hope. They serve as a reminder that our actions today can shape the course of our future. As we stand on the precipice of the unknown, we are reminded that we have the power to change our destiny. Whether or not these signs and prophecies truly herald the end times, only time will tell. Until then, we can only speculate and prepare for what may come.